is our peeps. Today is thankful Thursday, October 14th, and it's 2021 in beautiful Pauley's Island, South Carolina. And it's time for your sunrise and surf report with David Clayton. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Polly's Island. Today we have one and a half to two foot waves and they're about 10 seconds apart. It's actually a one star surfing day. Pretty clean swells. And you can see it's pretty flat as well. Sunrise is officially at 7.20. And your sunset this evening is 6.45. Good morning, Laura. Good morning to you. Temperature this morning is 64 degrees and it's going up to 80 today and sunny. The ocean's continuing to fall in temperature at 66 this morning. Actually, it's 76. So forget I said 66, it's 76. Good morning to you, Holly. William, good morning, sir. We're back out here close to First Avenue, or First Street, I should say. <laughs> I'm speaking all wrong today. <laughs> but it's Thankful Thursday. I think it's stunning out here today. Victor, I should have called you last night. I was starving when I put that post up. Your low tide this morning is going to be right around 9 o'clock here at the pier. And then your high tide is going to be around 348 depending on what app you look at there's another app that says low tide is going to be about 927 i think tides for fishing says 927 this morning is going to be low look at these swells they're beautiful we should definitely have some surfers out here this is the lookout point right here this is where the surfers come to stand and see what the swell looks like. And I think it's pretty good. We've got some secondary swells about five seconds apart, but the primary swell is about 10 seconds apart and it's one and a half to two footers. Take a look here.
Pretty cool, y'all. All right. So you know the routine on Thursdays. We like to put in the comments what we're thankful for. Yesterday I posted a question to Pauly's Island Peeps group and that is post one thing you need <laughs> in, in one word right now. And did you know 30% of the group posted the word peace? Wow. Kind of blew me away. I posted dinner. <laughs> and I should have called Victor, the chef. But I didn't. But I'll tell you right now, 30% of the group posted the word peace. And so that led me to today's good news. So we can share it together. That's one of the best parts of every morning is that we get to share the good news together, have a little Bible study together. And we all can participate. I love to go back and read the comments because I learned so much from you all. Sometimes I don't see all the good comments right now. So it's hard sometimes to do the Bible study together right this second, but I do go back. Dana says she's thankful for this glorious morning report. Each day it brings more peace than you will ever know. Wow, I'm so glad. I'm so thankful for that. I'm thankful for your encouragement. Thank you so much, Dana. So today's good news comes straight from Psalm 34, 14. And it says, turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Psalm 34, 14. So the reason I picked this one once again is because 30% of our group, when asked what they needed in one word, wrote the word peace. And this scripture speaks right to that. And I love it because it says to turn from evil, but then you can't just stop there. This Bible verse makes it clear, David makes it clear that we have to fill that void by doing good. We cannot just flee from evil and say, hallelujah, I've done it. We have to fill that void by doing good. Can I get an amen, please? I wanna see some hearts and love right there. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts and the loves and the likes. <laughs> So, so many things in the Bible are extremely helpful. But this is one that needs to go on your refrigerator or in your car, written down, and needs to be memorized. And same with me. And I think if you have an accountability friend or partner or maybe your husband or wife, whatever it is, whoever you have that's holding you, helping you stay accountable to turning from evil, 
there needs to be a separate category of what now once you flee from the enemy what now what good are you going to do what are you going to fill that void with because I think this is a huge breakthrough potentially for all of us So, in the mornings, I was waking up really grumpy, really unhappy, allowing evil in my brain. And it was affecting my work, it was affecting my marriage, and it still can creep in negativity, evil. And so Lisa and I, on June 10th, 2020, decided we needed to do something good. Just like David tells us to. And so we have filled that void by coming out here and sharing time with you and time in the Word. And what a blessing it is as I get choked up again. Oh, what a blessing it is. What a blessing God has gifted us with, right? With you all, our friends. And with an incredible place to worship by coming out here and singing with Doug and Trish and with Holly and David Just what a gift then the scripture goes on to say seek peace and pursue it So what's the difference between just seeking peace and pursuing it? What's the difference there? Why would David choose to say it like that? Sing it like that, I should say. If somebody could look up in the dictionary what it means to pursue. So what comes to my brain here is that when we're seeking something, we're kind of a little more passive. Although it's in the forefront of our mind, we're a little more passive, but when we are pursuing it, I believe it's a little more urgent. David was being pursued by Saul. We're being pursued by the Spirit of God, by our Savior. So let's see if anybody looked up to pursue what that really means. 
in our language. Yeah, seeking is just wanting it. Christina, good morning to you. Thank you so much for sharing that. Seeking is just wanting it. Pursuing is making it happen. Amen. So we first, according to the scripture, David's saying we first have to want it. It has to be a desire. We have to recognize the need. And then we have to go for it. So what a cool scripture today. I hope it's helpful for you all. I know it's been helpful for me. Wow, I like this. Holly put in there as a verb. Well, y'all can read it. Wow, to follow in order to catch or attack them. Like a dog pursues a van, chasing it. Or an officer pursues someone that's been speeding. That's great. So may we all pursue peace like an officer chasing a bank robber this day and every day. May God bless you. May God keep you. May God help you make his choices the best choices today and every day as we sign out my accountability partners my friends god bless you signing out have an amazing day y'all